Hey ladies and gentlemen, we are about to install some brake cooling ducts on this S1000 RR M package. Alright, so when you're looking at these ducts, you've got a couple of different options available to you. So this is the GPX, and then this is the GP. So basically it's the difference between the way that they're molded. So obviously you see the GPX here is uh, going to have an indentation, whereas the GP is pushed out. So it's kind of a difference between what you're looking for, what's going to clear with your particular motorcycle, as well as the, the style that you're going for. One thing that's nice about these cooling ducts is that it gives you a little bit of flexibility when it comes to install. So you do have about 100 to 108 millimeters of uh, variance. So if your calipers are set for 100 to 108, you can run these brake cooling ducts. So another thing to consider is the actual weave of the carbon. So you've got, you've got the twill here. Uh, this one is kind of that striped, uh, stepped look, whereas on this one, uh, this is just the standard carbon, and that just has more of the checkerboard look. So if you're looking to uh, potentially match the carbon that already exists on your bike, that is something to consider. Again, this is the traditional, and then this is the twill. This bike already has the Elmberger carbon belly pan, which has the twill pattern, so we're just gonna match it up with that Strauss twill pattern as opposed to the basket weave of the plane. This is a really straightforward and easy install. Uh, basically all you're going to need is one tool, uh, which is a 13 millimeter socket, and then you're going to end up sandwiching the cooling duct in between the caliper and the caliper mount. So let's get to it. One thing to note, if your bike does have ABS and has uh, a wheel speed sensor line, you want to make sure that you route this uh, in a safe manner so you don't have any chafing on that line. And then once you've got the caliper free, just pull it back a little bit. The BMW has these locator studs, so it makes it nice and easy. And then you just slide it right on, sandwich, in, sandwich it in place, replace your hardware, and then it's always good to torque these to the proper spec, so check your owner's manual for uh, the torque spec on your caliper bolts. and the right side is exactly the same. And BMW calls for 24 newton meters on the torque spec. And there you have it. Mm -hmm. 